Now, it has been two weeks since Hamas first launched its attack on Israel. It saw 1,400 people killed. Since then, Palestinian officials say that more than 4,000 people have died in Gaza. When you first introduced what's happening, you said more than 1,400 people have been killed in Israel and more than 4,000 in Palestine have died. I think language is really important to use because language, as a journalist, you have the moral responsibility to report on what's happening. Palestinians don't just die. They get killed. They are actually being um, subjected to ethnic cleansing, to genocide for the last 75 years. And you also mentioned that this is a Hamas-Israel war. This is not it. And framing it as such is very misleading because it uh, poses the thing that, that Israel is an equal power, but it's an occupying power. And it actually has the responsibility of protecting all civilian lives and children in Gaza. But what we've been seeing is more than 1,700 of those who are killed are children. So this is not really a, a war against Hamas. This is a, clearly so many Israeli spokesperson went on TV and said this is a war against Palestinian civilians in Gaza. And even if we imagine a world without Hamas, if we think about the West Bank, Palestinians have been being killed. And, you know, there has been land theft. There has been ethnic cleansing. There has been, um, you know, imprisonment. More than 5,200 Palestinians are in, Isra in Israeli prisons right now. And 170 of them are children. Children. So this is not just to water down what's happening to the 7th of October. This is a 75-year-old occupation, ethnic cleansing and genocide of Palestinians. And you need, as a journalist, to report on what's happening and say it as it is.